Hello everyone. There's been some terms that I've been using in the harmonic self that I want to explain, but I want to do it by way of a harmonic journey so that it can be an inward experience of what these terms actually are. So let's begin by having you close your eyelids. And we'll start by having you bring your attention to the rising and the falling of your breath. And you may already feel a peacefulness, a shift in the energy of your, your being and a shift in the energy of the room around you. It's always surprising to me as many years as I've been doing this that bringing our attention to our breath, just that simple act, can have such a profound effect. But perhaps it's not as surprising when we realize that the word breath and the word spirit are the same in most languages throughout the world. So for hundreds, if not thousands of years, cultures have recognized that the breath is more than the pumping of air or oxygen through our body, but is actually a gateway or a doorway into a vast and mysterious world, a world we're about to enter together. We can enhance this experience by having the idea that the breath isn't something that we take, it's something we receive. This again shifts the quality of our being as we go from any need to grasp or grab or force or hold on. And instead we can move into releasing, letting go, emptying, opening. The kind of openness we would have if we were to meet a trusted friend or receive a precious gift because we are actually receiving a very precious gift, the gift of life. For without the breath, we die. And it's a pure gift because it's given to us the moment we enter into this world. And it's the gift that keeps on giving to us without conditions, except one. We must let go of the previous breath. And if we can say thank you, thank you for this gift of life, and really mean it, thank you. Another doorway opens for us, a doorway into grace, for gratitude and grace have the same root word, gratus, so that now with each breath, we receive life and we receive grace. And we can go even deeper by doing absolutely nothing at all, except being still and waiting. And perhaps you become aware of that moment where you realize that you're not breathing your being breathed. If I were to ask you to listen to the classical music playing in the room right now, you may say, hmm, I'm not hearing any classical music playing. And I would say, well, please listen very carefully because the music is playing right here, right now. And I would bring in a radio and I would dial in the classical music station and the room would be filled with classical music. The music didn't come in with the radio. The radio was just a tuning instrument. We human beings are tuning instruments with the capacity to tune into any vibration, any frequency, any level of consciousness. 
So if we wanted to raise the vibration of the room that we were in right now, we wouldn't have to bring anything from outside of the room into it. We would just merely dial in the higher vibration from the potential that is already here now. So let's do that. Just now we ask for the highest and purest light from the highest and purest source to surround and fill the space we're in right now and ourselves for the highest good. And perhaps you feel that there's a qualitative shift in the energy in and around you. From all of the possibilities available to us, we selected, we dialed in, we called ourselves forward into a sacredness, a holiness, a sacred light, a holy light, a holy spirit, if you will, that now pervades the space around us and each one of us. So that now, with each breath, we receive life, we receive grace, and we receive light. We're meditating. Thich Nhat Hanh, the Buddhist monk and meditation teacher, said that just one conscious breath in and one conscious breath out is meditation. And we certainly know that meditation is good for your health. It can relax us, it can bring us a quietness of mind, bring us present, reduce stress. But it is a passive process. And on this harmonic journey, we want to be active. Active because we're going to go on a journey, an inner journey, a journey into who we truly are. And even beyond that, into what may be called the source of all things, sometimes called source, sometimes the divine, God, the all, it of itself, that which is. We can call it the heart of God. And to be active, we're going to use sound. This is the sound that's spoken of in the Bible when it said that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That Word was sound. Then it says that the Word was made flesh. We are sound. In the East they say, Nada Brahma. The world is sound. The world is vibration. Sometimes even translated as God is sound. And we're going to attune to that sound through the use of a sacred word or mantra. Now, if you've taken a yoga class, you've undoubtedly chanted the mantra Om or Om. We're going to chant Hugh. Hugh is an ancient name for God with a very, very, very high frequency and vibration that can take us from this physical world through all levels of consciousness into who we truly are and even beyond that into the heart of God. So let's chant the hue together three times out loud and then listen. Let's listen for the inner sound, the sound that pervades all of existence. So let's just receive the breath.
we listen for the sound, the inner sound. We can amplify our attunement to this sound through our loving. Now in the Bible, it says that God is love. And that whoever dwells in love dwells in God and God in them. I could have quoted from many sacred scriptures from around the world, and they would have all have pointed us in a similar direction that unconditional love is divine, is holy, is godlike. Perhaps you've felt this unconditional love when you've held a baby or a young child. Maybe you received this unconditional loving from a parent, a grandparent, an uncle, an aunt, a close friend, a loving partner, a teacher. Maybe you received it from nature or from a pet. Whether you've given or you've received this unconditional loving, take a moment to get in touch with what that was like, what that is like. And when you connect with that feeling sense or feeling tone, take a moment to give that unconditional loving to yourself. Loving yourself in this moment as you are, without conditions, without expectations, without demands, just as you are. And from that place of loving, let us chant the Anaihu together three more times out loud. Receive the breath. to the sound, the inner sound.
when we chant with loving, our heart center opens. And you may now feel your energy moving upwards towards the center of your head. Perhaps you feel a pressure on your forehead, a tingling on your crown, or perhaps you see a color in your inner vision. Your journey has begun, your journey into the vast, infinite, inner worlds, inner dimensions, inner levels of consciousness, of God, of spirit. Your journey into who you truly are, and even beyond that, into the heart of God. For such a journey, it's helpful to have a guide, a guide to show us where to go in all of this infinite vastness. And just as importantly, where not to go. Fortunately, that guide exists within each human being on this planet. It exists within each one of us here now sometimes called the inner master, we'll call it the mystical traveler consciousness. And we gain access to this consciousness within us through our loving and through dialing it in. So just now we ask for the consciousness of the mystical traveler to come forward from within each of our hearts and guide us on our inner journey into who we truly are and even beyond for our highest good. And if at this time, there's something we can let go of. If we're carrying any baggage or any load that we can release at this time, we ask that the consciousness of the mystical traveler dissolve, transmute, release any upset, any anxiety, any fear, negativity, any dis-ease, concern, worries, taking it back into the nothingness from which it came for our highest good. And so now with our load lighter and with light and love and sound and the mystical traveler to guide us on our inner journey, with our energy established in our higher spiritual centers, in the center of our head and on our crown, let us chant the hue together three more times out loud and vibrate those higher spiritual centers. Receive the breath. Hue. Listen to the sound, the inner sound. To assist you on your inner journey, 
and to follow the sound, I'm going to play some simple instruments. The idea here is for you to listen not so much to the notes themselves, but to the notes between the notes, the harmonics, the vibrations, the overtones. And for you to follow those overtones back inside you until the outer sound disappears and you connect with the inner sound, the sound current of God. And that you ride that current back inside you into who you truly are and beyond.